they were almost lost from the planet. Um, we haven't solved the issue. We haven't gotten them back to um, a population where they can survive on their own. Right now, it really takes a lot of human help to keep them even existing on the landscape. Aloha, my name is Sierra McDaniel. I'm the Acting Deputy Natural Resource Program Manager here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Today I'll be talking about um, Nene and how you can help be part of their successful recovery. In the late 1700s, there were about 25,000 nene um, across the, the whole Hawaiian Islands. Predators like mongoose and cats and dogs really decimated their population. If you were to have been here about 100 years ago, around you know, 1900, 1920, they only existed on Hawaii Island. They had died out on all the other Hawaiian Islands. And by the 1950s, there were maybe only 30 birds left on this island. Island. So since that time in the 1950s, it really took multiple generations of resource managers, both um, through agencies like the National Park Service and also private individuals, um, to help the Nene recover, get back. And so today, island across the state, there is about 3,500 uh, Nene. And within the park, we have about 160 that um, are within Hawaii volcanoes, or this is their primary area where they're nesting. So we do the habitat, but then we also do a lot of monitoring. So you might see Nene with um, colored bracelets on their legs. They're called um, bands. We do try to band as many birds as we can so we can follow them individually. And, and so that's how we know that they might come back to the same area to nest year after year, or even the offspring may come back. Nene are quite beautiful birds and they are really friendly and this is what kind of gets them into trouble. Um, they're very adaptable and if people approach them they are interested and they'll come up to you and also sometimes people will feed them and you never ever want to feed Nene. Um, that gets them used to coming by people, by parking lots and this is where they actually get um, killed by being run over by cars. So although they do have a friendly personality we really want to give them space um, just, you know, we are visitors in this landscape and we want to keep wildlife wild. Um, we don't want them to be like pets, de de depending on humans. Um, we want them to be wild animals and we want to be able to experience them and see them in their natural wild landscapes. And, and not just for us, but for, you know, our keiki and mo'opuna for many generations. The protection of Nene really takes a whole community of people. The Nene don't necessarily respect boundaries or stay within boundaries, and so they're going a lot of different places on the island. And so we do work with the state biologists, um, Department of Land and Natural Resources, wildlife biologists. We do a lot of coordination um, to help protect um, outside of the, the park boundaries as well. You know, Nene use um, a lot of different types of habitat, all the way from the coast up Mauna Loa, six, seven thousand feet. Um, but this is one of their preferred habitats. These really open landscapes with a lot of food sources, like ohello berries. So this plant is called ohello, and you can see these nice, fat, juicy berries. This is one of the favorite foods of the Nene, and so they'll come out to this area and they'll actually seek out food sources like this, oh hello. National parks play a really important role in the recovery of endangered species. That is one of our functions, is to really protect Nene and a whole host of other plants and animals. We do a lot of uh, predator management, so removing mongoose or cats that will, um, that will kill the goslings or the adult birds as well. They got lots of enemies, and so we're doing all we can to really protect their habitat. 
when you come to Hawaii Volcanoes, you are a part of the story. And we want you to be a part of the success story. So if you see Nene, we really want you to give them space, um, viewing them from a distance, at least 60 feet. Um, stay away, use your binoculars, and you can really enjoy them from a distance. The second thing we ask visitors to do is never ever feed Nene. Um, they might look really cute and come up and ask you for some handouts, but you never ever want to feed them, even their native foods. Finally, when you're driving on the roads, to go to the speed limit and really keep an eye out. The Nene are a color that's almost the same color as the pavement, and so they really blend in. It might look like the Nene is crossing the road, but really it's the road is crossing their home. And so we need to make space for them. And if you see Nene on the road, just stop, let them cross, give them their space, and really respect the wildlife while you're here. What resonates to me about working at Hawaii Volcanoes is I'm a part of the success story. We are part of a chain of natural resource managers that have really helped this area thrive. You know, if you had come here 100 years ago, you would have found a landscape that was really ravaged by goats and pigs and other animals. And it's taken decades of people really committing their lives to the recovery of both these ecosystems and the species that live here. And what resonates with me is just being a part of that and being able to do my part in my generation and our greatest hope and how we judge our success is being able to hand it off to the next generation to be able to carry this forward. Forward so that we as, as people thrive as well. And I really like being outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>